What's going on guys? It's KP here uh, with another boxing prediction. This time I'm talking about the Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. versus Sergio Martinez fight that's coming up this fall. Um, haven't made a video in a while guys. Sorry about that. My computer's been kind of fucked up lately. Had to get a new hard drive. Had to replace the screen. All kinds of crap. But anyways, I mean this is a this is a big fight that's coming up. One of two really big fights later this year. This fight and then the uh, Chad Dawson versus Andre Ward fight, which is going to also be a terrific fight. Um, a lot of people are saying that uh, Sergio Martinez is going to dominate this fight, and he just Chavez hasn't fought enough good competition, and uh, yada yada yada. And that's true to some extent. You know, I kind of I kind of think that too. But the more and more I watch tape on these guys. Chavez is really impressive. Uh, I know he hasn't fought some of the best competition. He's kind of got a sugar-coated record. But here lately, he's actually stepped it up. You know, unlike that people like to compare him to Canelo, say, well, he has a sugar-coated record. Well, here lately, he's actually been fighting some pretty decent competition. Uh, Sebastian Zabik, Andy Lee, Marco Antonio Rubio, those are three pretty decent names to have on your roster. Um... And he's, he looked impressive in all the fights, except for the, the Zivic fight early on. He kind of looked a little, but I mean, he's kind of he kind of fights like his dad. He starts off slow, and it's like a it's like a snowball going downhill. Gets bigger and bigger and bigger as it goes down the hill. He gets better and better as the fight goes on. It seems uh, his body punching is terrific, uh, very accurate. He's not he's not just wailing shots. He's actually coming in, planting himself on you, bending at the knees and throwing great shots nice short accurate body punches the only knock on him that I could think to say is that he doesn't use his jab enough uh, especially against someone like Martinez I mean that guy okay the thing about this fight is this Chavez's style is made to beat someone like Martinez but Martinez's style is made to beat someone like Chavez so it's basically going to be who can get their shots off and who can impose their will because Chavez is a guy that comes in behind a high guard, he plods in, and he plants himself up on your chest and throws body punches. The way to beat a guy like that is to use lateral movement, get angles, use your jab, flurry punches, and then get out of the way before he can get you up against the ropes and stay off the ropes. The way to beat Sergio Martinez is to get him on the ropes and hit him to the body. So, it really creates an interesting, it's a really interesting style dynamic to this fight. I think early on Martinez is going to dominate. Early on, I think Chavez is going to try to invest in the body punches. Uh, not really going to look to win rounds. I think the first three or four rounds are probably going to be Martinez rounds. But Martinez has shown lately that he has like a tendency to fade in the middle rounds, and then he'll come back around in the later rounds. Like he'll start off great. He'll kind of fade in the middle rounds, and then he'll come back strong in later rounds. Like, uh, watch the Kelly Pavlik fight, for example. He starts off great, moving well, uh, and then his legs kind of seem to go. Maybe he was taking a breather. Pavlik actually started winning some of those rounds. And honestly, I think if I think if Pavlik wouldn't have had all those cuts, he may have actually could have done something later in that fight. I think the cuts got to him. Um, but, you know, Martinez stepped it up in the championship rounds and took the fight. Uh, he, he's looked impressive in his last fights as well, but no, I don't think he's actually looked as impressive as Chavez has, to be quite honest. The Matthew Macklin fight was kind of a rough fight for him, it seemed, until the finish. Uh, the Paul Williams fight was, I mean, that was only a second round, two-round fight. You can't really tell much. He landed a great shot, but you can't really tell much from two rounds. The first fight was an all-time classic. Um, and then he had that fight against, uh, oh man, I can't even remember his name. The guy he uh, the guy he knocked out in like six rounds, I, I think. Anyways, it was an impressive win, but the way I see this fight going, I think there's two outcomes. Either Martinez is going to come out and win the early rounds, maybe kind of fade in the middle rounds, and then come back and win the later rounds, maybe like an eight rounds to four decision. I don't think he'll stop Chavez like everyone's saying. I think Chavez probably got his daddy's chin, you know, pretty solid chin. I don't think he's going to getting knocked out or anything or Martinez starts off good but those body punches start to catch up to him I mean Martinez is like 37 years old guys he's getting older um, 
that's what worries me about making a prediction on this fight. If, if those body punches land like they've been landing, uh, Martinez is, is in some deep shit. Because if he loses his legs in that fight, if he can't move, he's toast. I mean, that's Martinez's whole game is to move away from you and dance around you. But I'm going to go with my gut here. And I'm going to take Martinez by decision. This is a great fight. This is a tough prediction for me to make. This is the toughest prediction I've had to make since Pacquiao Bradley. Uh, there's only, I mean, the Dawson and Ward fight, I think, is actually an easier fight to predict than this fight. I think, well, I'll go into that fight later. I'll make another video on the Ward-Dawson fight. But this fight, it has all the potential to be an all-time classic. You've got, you know, it's Frazier and Ali. you got a guy coming in wanting to throw looping body punches, and you got a guy dancing on the outside and flicking his jab. Uh, anything could happen. I mean, Martinez could get a knockout, but, I mean, I doubt it. I don't think he's going to knock Chavez out. Chavez is a much bigger man, and that's another thing going for Chavez. If he can land those body punches, he's got a lot of weight and a lot of power behind those body punches. Uh, but I'm just I'm going to go with my gut. When I first heard this fight was announced, I said Martinez will probably win it. I'm going to go with Martinez. Uh, I think it's a close fight. I think it's a great fight, great matchup that was made. Chavez is actually stepping up and fighting some elite competition now. He's distancing himself from people like Canelo who are still fighting over the hill, Shane Mosley's. And, I mean, he's fighting, who's he fighting next? Uh, he was going to fight Victor Ortiz. Seriously? He's fighting the guy who beat Victor Ortiz, Jose Cito Lopez, that, who's a welterweight. He's fighting a, a guy that fought once at welterweight, but he's actually like a 140-pound fighter. Canelo needs to step it up. Uh, I think Chavez is actually coming out as one of the premier younger fighters. Um, Martinez, though, he's still in my top three pound for pound. Uh, Chavez isn't anywhere near that on my list, but he could make the list if he wins this fight. Uh, I mean, let me hear you guys, your guys' opinions. I, I think it's a close fight, but I'm going to take Martinez by decision. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and uh, I'll get that Ward-Dawson video out as soon as possible. Peace.